Hey guys, welcome back. We're on week 10 of the My Body Experiment. Um, this week we're talking about four different body parts, intestines, lungs, liver, and skin. So I'll start with lungs. Um, so the lungs are something we've already talked about. So I would ask everybody, can you remind me what you know about the lungs? What do the lungs do? If we breathe in, we breathe out. What's happening in our lungs? Well, our lungs help us breathe, obviously. And why is that important? Well, our lungs deliver that oxygen we breathe in to our blood, which is what gives us the energy we need. So again, our lungs help us breathe. Our lungs provide oxygen to our blood, which goes all throughout our body, which is the energy throughout our body. And then they also get rid of waste. Remember, they're part of our excretory system. They help get rid of carbon dioxide. So those are the three main parts of our lungs. Our skin, we've also talked about. So again, ask them what they remember about the skin. Remember when we did the little sandpaper and soap, you could see that we are always shedding Skin. I forget how many million billion cells we lose a day um, but that was a great visual for how many cells we lose daily because number one our skin is alive it is alive and it is always regenerating itself it is always growing um, it's shedding off the outer layer to create new um, healthier skin underneath so number one it's alive and always regenerating. Number two, it's used for protection. Our skin protects us. It protects us from UVA rays. It protects us from viruses, bacteria, environmental hazards, things are all around us. Our skin protects our organs and our insides from that. So it's a protector. And also our skin's other important function is sensation. So our skin is filled with all those nerve endings. Remember we did the little pencil test. Our skin helps us to experience touch with all the tiny nerves that follow our nervous system. What are the parts of the nervous system? They go our nerves, our spinal cord, to our brain. Um, so you can see how this all interconnects. All the little nuggets these kids are learning um, helps to get a bigger picture of God's creation and what he's done amazingly through our body. So we have our lungs, our skin. So again, our skin's the three big things. Number one, it's alive always regenerating. Number one, two, it protects. And number three, the sensation, the role it has in sensation. And then we have our intestines. Our intestines we know are part of our digestive system. What are the parts of the digestive system? Mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, small intestine, large intestine. So uh, my tutors in your buckets, you will have a bag with an L on it and a bag with an S on it. Um, this is just a visual to recognize how long our intestines are. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the Lord created our abdomens to hold this tube, um, these two tubes. Um, the small one, I don't have my helpers today so I can't get it out to show you. But the small intestine is somewhere around 16 to 25 feet, depending on your age, um, your body size, and so forth. So these um, strings in here are about 20 to 21 feet. Um, so I would have a helper stand on both sides and stretch this thing out, and then try to curl it up and sit it inside, or just lay it up against your stomach or one of the kids' stomachs so they can visualize. And again, this is yarn. This is super skinny where our intestines are actually like a tube um, that food and waste go through. So you have your small intestine, again, about average 20, 21 feet long. And then you have your large intestine, which is around five to six feet long. So your large intestine kind of encases around your small. It has an ascending, a transverse, and then a descending side. So your small intestine is all squished in there, and then your large intestine kind of encases all around it. So it is definitely smaller, but it is larger in its diameter. The small intestine is smaller in the diameter of the tube, and the large intestine is a little bit bigger. So the big things about the intestine that you want the kids to take away is number one, how long they are. So this will help take it out, stretch this thing out, and then kind of roll it up and lay it against you so you kind of get an idea. And then the large again goes out around. Um, the role of the intestines are to obviously number one, break down food. They help break down food as they break down the food. Um, 
then they help to absorb the good parts, so absorb the nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins that we need, as well as they then filter, keep filtering through the waste products, the things our body doesn't use. So they break down the food, they absorb all the nutrients and vitamins, and then they keep pushing through um, the waste and things we need to get rid of in our body. Um, the intestines are covered with smooth muscle. So again, we remember from last week, smooth muscle is involuntary, which means you don't have to think about it. God created our intestines just to do their job without us even thinking about it. So they keep, they contract, and they push the waste through your belly um, until it's excreted because they are part of our excretory system, which we found out before a couple weeks ago. Our large intestine is also full of tons, millions of bacteria, which sounds gross, but these are good bacteria and they actually help. So all the waste and everything, the food that's gotten to that part, which is the last part before it's excreted out, that bacteria helps to break down any extra toxins or waste or things that have not been broken down yet. Um, so our gut is actually full of that good bacteria, which you hear a lot of probiotics these days. That's where it's working, um, is in your large intestine. That's what that bacteria is doing. It's supposed to be breaking down toxins and things to get them out of our body so we don't absorb them. So that is our intestines. So we've got lungs, skin, intestines, and last but not least, you have your liver. Your liver is pretty amazing. We could not live without a liver. Um, the things about the liver, number one, it has over 500 functions. We're just kept trying to get the top three important things. That's one of them, is it has over 500 functions that it does for our body and to keep our body um, in a stable, healthy place. Number two, one of the big things that we know about the liver that is easy to remember, each of um, Peter's will have a medicine bottle in there. Our liver is one of the main places where we metabolize and break down medications, um, drugs, and things that go into our system. Our liver helps to filter them out. It breaks it down so that we can actually use them in a good way. It filters through what we can't use and what might be toxic to our body. Um, so that's why if people take in things that are not good for you, your liver is the one that suffers. Um, so our liver, number one, has over 500 functions. Number two, helps break down medications, um, as well as food, but medications and things we take in so that it can be utilized in the way it's supposed to be in our body and filters out the toxins. And number three, least but not last but not least it also stores iron so it is also part of our um, red blood cells the iron that is in them um, is that iron is stored and utilized then from our liver so our liver 500 functions helps break down medications and things we ingest to take away the toxic part and utilize the good part and then also breaks down food by excreting the bile into that small intestine and then last but not least, um, stores iron and helps um, keep our red blood cells nice and healthy. All right, that's week 10, enjoy.